Hello travelers, I am Tiberius, and I'm going to show you how to make a guardian wolf. Well, at least in my own way. Um, this is my first time doing this, so you're going to have to give me some type of slack from editing to video recording. I am a big novice when it comes to this. <laughs> and I hope you enjoy the video at least, or at least how I created the guardian wolf. Right now I'm using glass eyes and slowly building up the uh, clay around them to one, hold them in place, and to make the eye sockets later. Well, not the eye sockets, the eyelids, my apologies. And slowly build up the muzzle to my liking. It could be short, it could be long, depending on how you want to design your own creation. What I'm using as a base is a tin foil so it can cook all the way and hold it firmly without me indenting it by accident. There has been accidents with indents, <laughs> to say the least. So I'm going to leave you guys alone with the music and I will interrupt shortly after.
Once all the pieces were baked, I started putting on some needle felt. I wanted to build up a bone-like structure for the shoulders down to the hips, make it more wider and puffier so when I put on the fabric, it would hold its shape. I wanted the shoulders to be bigger than the lower half, more like an angle from large to small down to the hips. And I slowly start building up the meaty muscle parts. I wanted them to stand out against the fabric I was going to use, and the shoulders to move beneath the fabric like bones would underneath the skin. You get it a cool appearance, which I think I did pretty well, though and later you know, I will probably perfect it. It's a learning curve to say the least. And here are the awkward angle shots. Yeah, I started working on swirly patterns and other patterns I was thinking that would look good on the skull then accentuated the curves. And I wish I took a better angle. You can only see half of what I'm doing. But to get the point of the idea I was going for was mostly using references between the Twilight Princess and their golems and stuff, taking a look at their glowing sigils and symbols, and then hitting between Atlantis to get an idea how it would look on stone. I think I did pretty well. If there's things I would like to change, I think I would have changed the sculpt style, but other than that, it looks really good on this wall. I enjoy the new uh, trial and error of this. <laughs> sculpture. So, yeah, let's continue on and listen to the sweet music.
So here comes the fun part, sewing the body onto the body. <laughs> I started at the elbow joints and build it up, following the line of the fabric. And keeping the fur out of the way as I build. It was pretty difficult to keep it from getting into the seam line. So I started building it all the way to the ankle to ankle and build it off from there. Nothing more explanatory than following the curve of the body. Which was pretty difficult to get between the ankles and the paint job and try not to paint chip anything because I didn't put on the coat yet. Not to sew, put on the layer of coating before you sew. But I thought it was better since most of the time the glue doesn't stick to the coating. Should have coated first. And it was pretty more difficult with my hand, wrist being sprung. Or a bruise, I got no idea. It still hurts. <laughs> well, I got nothing more to say other than follow the sew line all the way up to the uh, back of the neck. Okay, we're on the last stretch of this video. Right now I'm needle felting in some details, woven the uh, wool in between the fabrics to give it a more of an ethereal look and kind of like a stony structure or runic symbols to make it come to life. After this is done, it's all the way up to Photoshop. Well, not Photoshop, I mean photo shoot. <laughs> Nothing is Photoshop, I promise. I have very bad language with words. I just imagine that's common for Americans. And once this is all finished, I do the last bit of details on the face and pick, fix any pink chips I have done from manhandling it when I was sewing the legs up to the body. This wolf is available on my Etsy shop, which will be in the link in the description below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and do all the fun stuff and jazz.